What's up, I'm Jeff Haynes from Tech Bargains, and this is the video review of the Dell XPS 18 portable all-in-one tablet PC. Tablets have fundamentally changed the way that computers operate, from the acceleration of boot speeds, to touchscreen interfaces, to the increased portability of systems. But for the most part, these changes have been relegated to laptops and convertible systems. The Dell XPS 18 is trying to change all of that by essentially converting the all-in-one into a giant portable tablet. Is this the perfect merger of tablets and all-in-ones, or does it leave a lot to be desired? Let's find out. The XPS 18 that we reviewed was powered by a third generation Intel Core i5-3337U processor running at 1.8 GHz that could be boosted up to 2.7 GHz via turbo. It came with 8 GB of RAM and was supplemented by Intel HD Graphics 4000. It also came with a 500 GB hard drive spinning at 5400 RPM and a 32 GB MSATA solid state drive cache, and content was displayed on an 18.4 inch LED backlit IPS touch display with a native resolution of 1920 by 1080. Other items running out the system were integrated 5.1 speakers with Waves Max Audio 5.0, two USB 3.0 ports, Bluetooth 4.0, and an 8 in 1 memory card reader. Now, all-in-ones have steadily been getting smaller and lighter in the past few years, but the design of the XPS 18 helps the system stand out as both a tablet and an all-in-one. The machine is easily one of the slimmest all-in-ones on the market, measuring in at just over 11 inches high, just over 18 inches wide, and 0.7 inches deep. Not only does that minimize the footprint of the system on your desk, but it also looks incredibly good. Now that's whether you've got it set up in the optional powered stand or resting on the flip-out feet that extend from the rear of the computer. On top of that, the form factor of the XPS 18 has the sense of an elongated tablet, with a large display and a sleek black border around the screen. In many ways, without the addition of the mouse and the keyboard, it looks as though someone put a Windows tablet on a rack and stretched it out to an almost laughable size. Yet even with the larger size of the all-in-one, there's something about it that makes you want to reach out and touch it instinctively. However, the flexibility of the XPS 18 actually helps it stand out more than other all-in-ones because you're not solely restricted to its stand. Thanks to the feet on the XPS 18, you can stand the computer upright or recline it at a comfortable angle for playing games or watching movies. On top of that, you can flatten the device itself, turning the all-in-one into a gigantic tablet that can be placed on a table so multiple people can watch a video, browse the web, or play a game together. Because the system can be turned into a tablet, it has excellent screen angles when placed flat, and you won't run into screen darkening or color shifting this way. We noticed incredibly fast startup times with the XPS 18 as well. Cold boot times for the machine frequently ran between 12 and 15 seconds from hitting the power button to the desktop, which is on par with many of the Ultrabooks we've recently reviewed. Performance with the computer was actually quite good as well, with fast launches of apps and solid handling of multiple programs with limited slowdown. We were able to play up to six video streams at the same time, while also browsing web pages with only a few hitches. We were also able to play some casual and minimally intensive games without any issues at all. What was also nice was that the system was extremely free of bloatware, with one of the cleanest system installs with Windows 8 we've seen so far. On top of that, one of the big benefits of the XPS 18 is that the computer is unbelievably quiet, even with a 500GB hard drive instead of a solid state drive. We ran a number of programs and also ran the machine for a number of hours, and we couldn't detect any hard drive noise whatsoever. The only thing we would hear in an extremely quiet room was the light whir of a fan, but that was about it. Even better is the fact that the system remained cool regardless of the amount of time we used the computer. We could easily place the all-in-one on our laps for hours at a time, and we never felt overheated when it was in operation. The only detectable heat was a slight amount from the screen, but compared to laptops, this was minimal. On top of that, the system is unbelievably light. Weighing in at only 5 pounds, it's very easy to carry this anywhere, which can't always be said for other all-in-ones, which are typically bulkier because of their monitor and internal components. Now one thing we didn't expect was the sound quality from the computer. Tablets are notorious for having weak sound presentation. Many all-in-ones aren't much better. However, the Waves Max Audio 5.0 provides quite a lot of volume from music, movies, or games that can easily fill a room or drown out ambient noise. What's more, we actually picked up on low-end notes, which added to the system's functionality as both a desktop and a tablet. One final thing to note came with the powered stand, which is an optional accessory that provides a permanent base for the computer. It might not look like much, but the stand allows you to adjust and shift the angle of the system to fit your needs. The connectors are magnetized, allowing you to effectively lock the computer in place. 
Plus, you can plug the AC adapter into the base, continually providing a charge to the tablet. So were there any problems or issues we experienced with the XPS 18? Let's start with some of the minor problems. First off, while the system doesn't have screen angle issues when you're looking at it as a tablet, they become more apparent when set upright on its feet or placed on the stand. You'll start to get color shifting or screen darkening when the computer is set up as an all-in-one. It's unfortunate, but it does hamper the number of people you can have looking at it when set up this way. But considering that you can alleviate that with the tablet mode, it's not that big a deal. Another issue we found were the limited ports for the system. There's no wired ethernet port on this machine, so if you're having trouble getting wireless signals in your house, or you don't have a wireless password, there's no way to physically plug the system in without an external adapter. Then again, that also leads to another issue, which is that the limited number of USB ports on the device necessitates using a hub, especially if you have more than two products that you need to plug in. Fortunately, the included wireless mouse and keyboard's USB dongle is embedded into the device itself, but if you need or want a new peripheral, or you have to swap them out for any reason, you can expect to take up the other USB ports quickly. That will cut down on the number of ports that you can plug in USB sticks or other peripherals. A more significant problem comes in with the touch sensitivity of the display, which is particularly hit or miss when it comes to recognizing input on the screen. While accessing Windows 8 charms and currently running apps works fine, pulling up the on-screen keyboard, closing browser windows, or selecting some links can take multiple taps on screen for the computer to recognize what you want it to do. There isn't an explanation for why the system disregards commands either. It would be understandable if it was running a lot of programs and was experiencing lag, but the same results can occur without anything running at all. As a result, you need to rely upon the peripherals to accurately use the machine, which really impacts the effectiveness of the computer as a tablet. The other big issue we had with the XPS 18 was the weak battery life for the system when unplugged. The XPS 18 was rated to get up to 5 hours of life on a single charge, but we found that it barely managed to pull down 2 hours if you're watching a movie or playing a casual game, while also taking just over 2 hours to fully recharge itself. Using it for non-system taxing work, like email, would stretch the life of the computer up to 3.5 hours at most, but that was more of the exception than the rule. Further complicating the battery issue is the fact that the computer has wildly inaccurate battery life reporting, frequently showing significantly different levels of a charge remaining in the system over a matter of seconds. Compare this kind of battery life to any other tablet on the market, and you realize it's more tied to a power outlet than any tablet currently available. The Dell XPS 18 is a market departure from the traditional all-in-one by essentially imitating a giant tablet. It's very light and easy to carry, which allows you to set it up virtually anywhere you want it to go. It has incredible sound and fast startup times, and for its size, it's very quiet and very cool to the touch. However, its trade-offs are that it essentially also imitates a very large tablet. It doesn't have the same number of ports that a traditional all-in-one has, its touchscreen sensitivity is suspect, and its battery life is rather weak. However, a lot of these issues can be overlooked by using it as a desktop. For these reasons, it's a lot easier to recommend the Dell XPS 18 to consumers that are interested in a flexible system that could also be the future of all-in-one computers. For these reasons, we decided to give the Dell XPS 18 a 4 out of 5. For the latest coupons and deals on systems like the Dell XPS 18, be sure to check out techbargains.com slash Dell. To enter our monthly giveaway, make sure you always check out techbargains.com slash YouTube. And to watch our video unboxings, video reviews, and exclusive video features, be sure to go to techbargains.com slash videos.